Earlier this year, the indie horror master company Fat Mojo released some Rainbow Friends toys. Those being a set of free collectible plushies, which were actually really awesome and high quality, as well as 10 blind bag minifigures. And that was about it. Nothing in scale compared to some of Fat Mojo's past licenses, such as Bending Ink Machine, Baldi's Basics, Piggy, and more recently Poppy Playtime. But that's about to change, because thanks to an article from the Pop Insider, we've got an insight as to what Fat Mojo's cooking for fall of this year, which includes even more Rainbow Friends toys. Not only that, but Fat Mojo has also gained license to other indie properties, those being Garden of Ban Ban, Roblox Doors, and Alphabet Lore. Toys of said properties will also be releasing in the fall of this year. However, we currently don't have images for any of the products for those series, but we do have images for some of the upcoming Rainbow Friends toys. So, without further ado, let's dig deep into the new Rainbow Friends toys. Firstly is something I'm sure some of y'all have been hoping for, those being Rainbow Friends action figures. Series 1 will consist of Cartoon Blue, Green, Red, or The Scientist, as well as Monster Blue. Unfortunately, there's no sign of orange or purple, but maybe they're preserving them for a series too. Now, thanks to another image of the action figures, we can see the accessories that are going to come with each. Firstly, we've got Cartoon Blue, and he looks great. Very accurate, as I would expect, considering how damn simple these character designs are. He looks really silly and inviting with his gaping mouth and Pac-Man eyes. Oh yeah, and he's rocking that tilted crown as well, as if he's achieved something in life. Really, the only complaint I've got for Blue is the leg articulation. I really dislike the way Fat Mojo does their legs. It looks very unusual and it's rather distracting. And as you can see, the accessory is a letter from yours truly. The Scumlord Company itself, Odd World. And I'd like to guess that the letter probably goes along the lines of, Hey there, sh**. We're gonna rip you a brand new face, kid. Up next is the Pringles Tube Man, oh I mean uh, Green of course, and he again looks pretty good. He's complete with his googly eyes, sharp teeth, and of course his big long fingernails. And let's not forget his super long arms like Squeeze from Masters of the Universe. There's also two points of articulation in each arm, so it's nice to see they use that potential of the long arms like that. And the accessory this time around is even cooler, because we've got purple lurking in the vents. Oh wait, I was wrong, looks like we technically are getting a purple figure. Very funny indeed. Next up is the scientist Red, and he's as detailed as character designs get in Rainbow Friends. And he's complete with his total cross eyes and dapper business suit. And his accessory is one of the fuses that you need to collect in night 3 of the game. Now this one has probably got to be my favourite from this set. I really appreciate the additional detail that this character has. Last but not least, we've got Blue's alternate form. Of course, he's sporting the same body design, but he's got some facial changes. My man just got even sillier, because now he's just straight up drilling. But hey, at least he got his crown right and centred, and look, ooh, it's shiny. And he's also got that random button eye that I still don't know the purpose of, but it really completes that look and makes him accurate to the form in the game. And his accessory is one of the blocks, which you also gotta collect in the game. Now up next, we've got a blue-themed bundle. So Fan Mojo's done this a bunch in the past with their piggy license, and they're these massive bundles which are themed on a specific character or franchise, and are about $40 to $50 depending on the retailer. That big plastic blue head at the back serves as the container which you can split open to reveal all of the goodies which make up the bundle. What's also pretty neat is that it also serves as a piggy bank with a coin slot on the top of the head. Inside you'll find a sticker sheet, some cheap cosplay items, a blue action figure which is actually the exact same monster blue from the action figure line, a plush blue head, and two mystery minifigures, which look from the sculpt and things, are definitely the exact same as the ones in the blind bags. And if you take anything from the past Poppy Playtime bundles, they're probably exclusive metallic variants. So those are the major reviews. Now before we move on from that Pop Insider article, here's a look at what all that they've got to say about Rainbow Friends. I'm not going to read all that out, so feel free to pause and read it for yourself. 
Up next, we've got a pretty neat promotional poster which advertises the previously released minifigure blind bags as well as the plushies and that upcoming head bundle where we can actually see the shrink wrap for it. Now, last but not least, we've got official product photos for the mystery plushies which the public are starting to get now. Now, we've known about the existence of these plushies for over a month now, thanks to a YouTuber who got them sent early. And this is currently the only way we can get an orange plushie, so that's a great selling point for these guys. And as you can see, the rest of the set contains cuter versions of blue, green, and red. And hey, that does it for your Rainbow Friends merchandise dose. So, how you feeling? And are you going to be picking up any of these items? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.